Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Our brand new promo, Level Up, was not at all what we expected. It is bringing some of the craziest cards to this game. The 99 KDB looks absolutely insane, right? But what it takes to get them is just a little bit too much. We're going to talk a lot about this promo today, kind of explain it all, help you guys maybe get it done a little bit faster, and how I really hope to see this content in EAFC because this concept is really amazing. But for right now on this stage of the game, it might just be a bit too much. So without further ado, let's get into things. If you're enjoying the videos, if you enjoy this promo, let me know down in the comments, but drop a like and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Now let's start with the objectives, right? Because that's where all of the madness is under the milestones tab. If you guys have not checked it out there, that's where it is. The level up your game one. Guys, first of all, this is a two week promo. Yes, we have two weeks of this level up promo. That means we're gonna be getting even more cards cards next week that will probably be in a level up your game two objective with more opportunities to grind objectives and get these games in with the lower rated cards that are across the game so first of all yesterday you saw the 99 rated kdb right this card is unbelievable right and this is where this promo has a lot of hype right now this 99 kdb with 99 passing and with 99 physical five star five star high high like look at all the 99s in that card that's absolutely crazy the problem is 30 games is a lot. I don't have so much problem with the 30 games because for a card that's this crazy, that's that's probably what you have to do. The problem that I have is the card you have to use to unlock him is extinct on the market at 15 million coins. And that's the problem with a lot of this promo is Renato Sanchez, Timo Werner, Enzo Fernandez, Davies, right? These guys are really, really expensive on the market. Some of them even extinct. And it just doesn't feel worth the upgrade from the card that is in packs to the card here to go and play all of the games in July, right? That's the problem right now with this promo is this concept is absolutely amazing, right? I love the idea that we get to go and play games with these cards and upgrade them. But for right now in July on this game, for some of these cards that aren't even that meta as well, like take Raheem Sterling for an example. This is our SBC player. I ended up doing the SBC because I opened up a bunch of packs and had duplicates. I don't really want to go play 25 games of squad battles, rivals, or champs with six English players in my team to um, go get this Sterling card done. You know, like that's too much of a grind personally that I want to put in at this stage of the game. Now, I will say, if you have time and you want to grind out this stuff, there is a lot here that you can love, right? There's so many of these cards. It's the top tier, right? The top tier cards look great, and those are the ones that everybody would really want to grind, but those prices do, are too expensive, which is an L. But then you go down to the, to the lower tier of cards, right? Edinson Cavani looks pretty nice. Fakir, Vlahovic, like these cards, five games, five games, 15 games for Vlahovic. The lower tier, as I will call them down here, are easier to upgrade because it does not take as many games. But the cards to me don't look that insane or as meta as I think they should as well. Like 92 rated cards, 93 rated cards are okay. But some of the in-game stats that we have on these, I just feel are a little bit lackluster for this time of the game. I think for the grind that you have to put in, specifically for some of these like 10 to 15 game cards, I think EA should have boosted these cards a little bit. I mean, this Cavani card, which I think a lot of people are excited for this Edinson Cavani. He is a premium item, so he gets that extra chemistry. He's got five-star skills. It is a nice card, and we haven't had a special Cavani for a long time. 81 stamina, right? There's a couple of these cards just have some big downfalls that put them a little bit behind the curve. And again, it just comes down to how much do you really want to grind at this stage of the game so this is where all the grind takes place though um and there are some kind of like there's some ways you can get around this right as we kind of consider can we get these cards done do we want to get these cards done if you or somebody that you know is lucky enough to pack let's say kevin de bruyne or let's say renato right ea finally added this card design here into the menu so we can actually search it up let's say you're lucky enough to pack renato you can actually go and do co-op wow 7.1 million coins for Renato you can go and do co-op and the friend playing with you if you're using your team with Renato in it the, the friend that is playing with you will get the progress in the objective for Renato so my number one thing that I would tell you guys to do this week is um, 
f find a friend or if you're lucky enough to pack a bunch of cards, you can actually do objectives together in co-op. I would say squad battles is probably the easiest place to do it because especially with some of these teams, there's extra stipulations you have to have inside of them, right? Like for KDB, if you're lucky enough to do that one, you have to have seven Belgian players in your starting 11. That would not be a very fun foot champs to run this weekend with that many uh, Belgian players. I don't know how many there are in the game that are super meta at this um, stage. Even having six English players in your starting 11 for Raheem Sterling in foot champs might be a little bit tough. There's, there's more English players that are more meta and up to speed in this game, but I think the easiest way to do it, especially because you have to score with those or assist with those certain players, is to do it in squad battles, and that way you can also do it on co-op. Um, there is a, play to play co a way to play co-op squad battles. I have not done that myself, but there is a way to do that. I think that's the best way to do it. I packed um, the only card that I have right now is Jesus Corona. I did do the Sterling SBC, like I said, but I'm probably not going to do that objective. I kind of want to do the Corona, right? So maybe I find somebody else that wants Corona um, and they have something else that's maybe one of the five or or ten game. Maybe they have like Vlahovic or Cavani or something. And like we, we do five games for Corona. They can get Corona done since I have him. And then we do um, five games for Cavani because they have Cavani done and I don't. So that's one of the biggest tips I can give you right now is do squad battle co-op because that'll help you get some of it done, um, you know, faster and you don't have to have the card if you know somebody that's got kdb or renato boom you can get that card if you just score in 30 um and you're in the game with them with co-op so again i want to talk about this concept and concept in general though because guys like this is incredible this concept is so good the execution right now is not the best because of where we are at this stage of the game but this concept, if you can imagine at the beginning of FIFA, starting off with a regular player's gold card, like let's use Sterling as our example, right? Let's say Raheem the Dream Sterling next year is like 85 rated on the market and you can go get an 85 Raheem Sterling and let's say you have to play like, it's a higher number of games, right? Because it's the beginning of the game and EA don't want to give out that many cards for free. But let's say you can take an 85 rated Sterling in EA FC 24 and upgrade him to an 89 rated Sterling after like 300 games of him being in your main team at the beginning of the game that would be an objective that would be super great to grind because over 300 games worth which would probably take you a month or so that would still be a card that would upgrade enough to be useful and you could use in your team for a while and it would be worth the grind um, of just playing with that card in your team and accumulating those games over time to get the better version that's where i think the hype and the potential lies within this concept because if correct me if i'm wrong but i think this is the first time ever that we have had cards on the market that directly relate to an objective card that you get as a reward for a free untradeable card after completing objectives and i didn't specify that let me specify that again if you buy enzo fernandez or kdb or edison cavani whoever it is that you're going to be completing the objective for you buy jesus corona on the market you bought that card the 92 or 93 whatever it is corona 92 you go play your five games you assist with a cross and then you get the 94 you can then go and sell the 92 you don't have to keep that card you sell it on on the market and we're going to talk about these guys on the market here in a little bit so I do want you guys to respond down in the comments. I want to know how you're feeling about this promo because I think a lot of people look at this and they say, Nate, it's too much. I don't want to do it. I don't want to put it in the grind. Especially when you see 30 games, 30 games, 25 games. That's how I feel for especially the Sterling card. It's not good enough for me. It doesn't make my team for that much of a grind. I don't think it's worth it in July of this game. But uh, for some of the other ones, I might try them out. You know, five games. You know, maybe 10 through balls with Fakir. You can get Fakir done in one game, right? But it's such a small upgrade over his team in season moments. That's where it's kind of lackluster and underwhelming for me. So let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking. One of the best cards we have is this Chalhano Glue. This Hakan Chalhano Glue objective, it is eight games to get his card done. And then once you get his card done to level him up to the next version, which is a cracked card. It's only five more games. Guys, this one I think is maybe the most worth it one to do. He is almost club 90. He links great in the midfield if you have uh, Milinkovic Savage, the goalkeeper, right? He's high, high work rates with 97 passing, a five-star weak foot. He can play all the midfielder positions, unlike Tony Cruz, can't play center mid. Uh, really awesome card. And he's got incredible shot power and long shots, outside foot, flair. You know, really, really good objective card there. I think that might be one of the biggest Ws from EA yesterday. Also, moving on, talking about some of the other objectives we had. We had a daily login, which we love the daily login, giving us some fodder every single day. It is out for 
12 days, right? Or it's technically out for 14 days, but there's 12 completions. So that means there'll be two days you can potentially miss since this is a two week promo once again, uh, in order to get that completely done. Now the SBCs yesterday, all we had was the Raheem Sterling, of course. Um, I think there was one, oh, the daily login SBC that gives you an 81 double, but that was it. Um, so that was kind of all in the SBC realm. Now I want to talk about the cards in packs. Once again, we've already established that these prices are way too much, right? I mean, you take a look at Footbin, which also right now, Footbin, I think, needs to find a way to separate the cards on their website from the ones that are in packs to the ones that are the upgrades. Um, but guys, some of these cards are carrying very high prices. Werner was just 700K and now he's 900,000 coins. Guys, some of these are really, really rare. I don't think a ton of people were opening up packs and the pack weight's not that great to you know begin with, right? And I think there's still a lot of demand for these cards because people are, are buying them to go and do the objectives uh, to get the better versions, right? I mean, Timo Werner was legit just 730,000 coins and he just spiked to 900K. Alfonso Davies was down at a million coins flat and he went to like 1.7. And right now he's about 1.4, 1.5. And guys, if you're going to try to trade at all or if you're going to try to do any of these objectives, the prices of these cards on the market are going to fluctuate like crazy, especially on the rare ones, every single day day because i think people actually really like this concept guys now going back to the sbc sterling i want to show you guys a couple of market movements right and talk about this sterling for a minute um the 92 rated sterling the sbc is how much uh, i just had it pulled up here sterling is seventy thousand coins thing number one that shows me some people are actually really liking this concept is take a look at richarlison richarlison shapeshifters is a very substitute item for this sterling he is a right wing in the prem arguably better than sterling's card for sure 94 pace 95 dribbling and five star five star look how much his price has dropped off today in this game or yesterday 270,000 coins down to his minimum price of 200k he's not even selling on the market right now at 200,000 coins so that is an obvious clue that people are doing the raheem sterling card and raheem is always pretty meta he's got his unique body type his different running animation right and he always has insane dribbling in this game but it's just a lot of grind to get that 95 rated updated version through objectives um, that's reason number one and reason number two is SBC fodder team of the season cards are actually going up a good amount um, I think the cheapest tots card right now is like 23 24 thousand coins and that is up from where they were because it needs a, you need a tots card in the uh, sterling SBC you can see right Otamendi went from 20k to 25 thousand coins so fodder as a whole is really not up that much maybe up a little bit on some of your like 80 uh, maybe your 88s are up a smidge, 89s are about the same, 91s, 92s maybe a little bit up, but it's mostly those team of the season cards that have risen in price because of the Sterling SBC. I think a lot of people are actually doing it. What's the upvote downvote on the Sterling? It is 75% upvote because you get a chance to upgrade the card. And I think people actually like that. And I really think that one of the reasons EA is doing this, guys, is because they know that they're going to get a lot of interaction with this, and this is going to cause a lot of games played on their game, right? If you think about it from a business perspective, which I try to always understand and talk with with you guys, because that's how EA think as a company, right? From a business perspective, EA is going to get a lot of games played on their game and a lot of interaction during the summer months when there may not be as much dropping a promo like this. So it's very smart on EA's part. We always say this. They're being very smart by doing this right now because they're getting a lot of people to play games in their game. They can report that on their earnings calls and reports, and they got some people interested in the game, right? Because play to upgrade is always something that we like to see in this game. Now let's talk about cards in the market a little bit more because we kind of went off that topic to talk about all of that. But with these prices, like we've already seen, Renato just went from 7.6 mil. There's one at 8 million coins right now. And then his next card is 10 million coins, right? These guys are pretty rare and they're in such high demand. Like we talked about, the Cavani was um, 200,000 coins first hour and he went all the way up to about 3 100,000 coins. Guys, today on Saturday, keep a very close eye. Oh my gosh, 200K. Okay, that was a snipe there. That was crazy. But um, these cards are going to be fluctuating a bunch on the market today. I would imagine that early hours UK time, kind of like the normal fluctuations we see with promo cards, these guys are probably going to drop back down 
and they're going to get um, pretty low. And then people are going to wake up today on Saturday, go out to the market, buy these cards once again to use them to start completing the objectives, to get games done, and all of that. So just keep a close eye on some of these cards, especially some of the rare ones like maybe a Davies or some of the more popular ones like the Cavani. A lot of people are doing that one, I think. Um, I think a lot of people are doing Enzo Fernandez as well, even though he's a bit more expensive, uh, that card. I see like Enzo is one that I'm like, EA, why does he have three star skills in July? Like this should automatically be four star skills. Um, that one does not make sense to me, but I think a lot of people really wanna get that card done. Davies is almost like basically the best left back in the game as his 95 rated version looks five star five star You can play left mid as well So watch out for a lot of these cards moving in price and there's gonna be a lot of extra demand and their prices are probably gonna stay a bit inflated because they have this demand and they're gonna be amazing to trade with all weekend and all of this next week because people are gonna be using them to try to play games with and to upgrade the cards right that's the whole draw and I really do believe, as we saw with the Sterling, prices moving with that and a lot of these cards for the level up cards themselves moving on the market, people really like this play to upgrade kind of aspect. So watch out for that part of the market today. There should be some good flips there. Or if you're just trying to time when to buy and sell these cards to actually get the objectives done, I would recommend, especially today, they probably drop off some more into the later night on Saturday as promo cards normally do. Um, but again, there's a lot of demand there. So I wouldn't hold on to them, not thinking their prices would rise because like normal promo cards are going to get more supplied. People are going to pack them through Weekend League and they should drop off. So that's everything on the level up cards. Now, yesterday was actually a pretty good place to make coins on the market because some of your shapeshifter cards from team three, if we look at the rest of the market right now, are up in price because this promo is just seen as something that is a little bit lackluster and people don't want to grind at this stage of the game. I bought two draw Felix at 1.22, sold them at 1.36 and 7. Kyle Walker was one that I almost, you know, was very confident it was going to go up. He went up from 57K all the way to 70,000 coins. And Klosterman's up like 70K. Yuris went up 100,000 coins. I also bought a Schweinsteiger who right now I'm trying to get out and sell because I bought him at 1.19. And he is around 1.3, I believe, right now. 1.33, 1.31 right now on the market. So, um, you know, I'm happy taking the cash here in the 1.32 range. We'll see if we get the sale there. That's a pretty good flip for just like a couple hours or so. And a lot of the market did bounce back. Some of your team of the season cards, like the Renato Sanchez that was down so much. Who would have expected Renato's card today to come out? Uh, and to be 7 million coins on the market. Probably not that many people, right? So Renato was 430,000 coins. Now he's back up to like 460 to 470. The thing I would tell you with some of these TOTS cards is still, they're getting packed every single day. Be careful with them. I do believe their prices can still fall off. But if you're playing them in Weekend League and you're just you know using them to have fun, then enjoy the cards, have fun. It's July, do all of that. So let's talk a little bit about fodder and talk about the market for today on Saturday as well. What's coming today? Like what in the world is gonna be dropping today on this game? We have objectives tied to SBCs, right? So with the way that this looks, wouldn't it mean that we're not going to get any more SBC players during the week if you look through this objective? Well, technically, it says today we're going to be getting a level up Killian Sildia, um, a Bundesliga right back with actually pretty good stats. I can't actually get his attributes, but he has 96 pace, 93 defense, 90 defense, and 93 physical. That is a pretty nice looking card. I don't know if you can view it in concepts or not, but uh, it's only five separate matches. You have to score a goal with the defender with three French players. You're starting 11, so that's not too hard. Um, and I would imagine that this comes out today via an objective or an SBC. But other than that, there are no other players added into this level up objective. So unless EA is going to add people in during the week, if they get object or SBCs or objectives, then we might not be getting any more level up cards during the week. I'm not, I'm really curious to see how that ends up playing out. So I'm not expecting today to be a really big content day, but what have we seen during shapeshifters? We saw pretty good SBC packs get added, right? You know, we had those, I think last Saturday we had an upgrade pack SBC. We've had icon packs coming out on Saturdays or Sundays. We haven't had an icon pack in a whole week on this game. So for fodder with prices probably getting a bit low into today on Saturday, um, it's not a terrible time to maybe look at getting some fodder. Uh, and if I were to buy anything, where would I look? 
man, the 87s two weeks ago did amazing, right? Remember that? 85s did amazing last week. 86s at 7K are disgustingly cheap. If they're going to drop an Icon SBC at this stage of the game, it's probably going to be somewhere priced around like, you know, I would say the 150 to like 300,000 coin range for an SBC. I mean, granted, we did have the uh, 93 plus uh, Shapeshifter and Tots player pick that was released for 216,000 coins with the 88 and the 90 rated squads. This does not come back until Sunday. So, um, you know, if you're going to look at like investing in 91s or 90s, I think those kind of moved last time with that. Um, you know, those would be something you can maybe look into, but I just don't see fodder. Fodder is really low, um, and Tots cards have moved fodder a little bit, but uh, I don't see fodder going too much lower. Only if we get don't get SBCs is the only thing that would make, make fodder go a little bit lower. So maybe you do a bit of a club stock. I still like the middle to lower tier the most because, um, you know, people have Tots cards. You can get a Tots card every single day from an SBC, and we would just need some sort of icon pack or SBC that would bring out a pack like that to make some of those prices move the most. And again, I would focus on gold cards, guys. I would focus on golds, and I would probably not buy team of the season players because uh, those are a little bit up and they're still getting supplied. If there's ever a requirement for TOTS moments, man, TOTS moments cards are disgustingly cheap on this game. They're like 12,000 coins per for 89 rated. It's 12K. They're just so supplied from that pack. If uh, there ever is a Tots Moments requirement, guys like Lacroix, Quadrado, Reese James, Sissoko, Javi Galan is 92s. Those are going to go up. I mean, if there is ever a 90 rated squad that's dropped again or a 92 rated squad as well, some of these could go up because they're just so cheap for the rating. 92 rated Sissoko for 16, 17K is honestly just, it's, it's wild. It's amazing. So, I just, it's going to take a lot of demand for those to go up. So I'd be a little bit more careful investing there. And uh, maybe a club stock is, is good to do. But besides that and the objective or the SBC tied into that objective we just looked at, not expecting a big day today. Not sure what's going to happen in terms of store packs um, as well. We have definitely have some interesting store packs that EA could potentially try to drop to try to make some dough. Remember there was those packs that Foot Scoreboard tweeted out last week about like uh, guaranteeing a TOTS a TOTS Moments or a uh, Trophy Titans Icon. That was a pack that was added to the code, if I can find that really quickly here. Um, yeah, that was added a few days ago. I think it was even last weekend that that was added. It might not be worth scrolling back this far to go and look at it. But, you know, that's the sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Elite Replay Pack, Premium Replay Pack. Um, you know, those were added to the code last week. Could they be a part of this weekend's content? Maybe, but really, I think a lot of what this weekend is, is people trying to get these level up cards or people just saying, man, I'm not about it. Maybe I'll do one of the short, you know, five game players, or maybe it's not just worth it for me. I think a lot of people are feeling very dejected right now in this game. So again, I'll say it, let me know down in the comments, what you feel about this promo. I love the concept. But I think some of the upgrades aren't good enough, and it's just a lot to grind at this stage of the game. So let me know how you feel down below. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, of course. And subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's with Nathan Foot Account, and catch you guys there. Peace. Out.